Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Kudesia, Director of Patient Education and Sugarland Site Director here at CCRM Fertility Houston. Today, I want to talk to you about polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS. Though information on the internet is often confusing and conflicting when it comes to PCOS, today I'm very excited to talk to you and review not only what PCOS is, how we make the diagnosis, but then how we also pursue holistic and healthy treatment for PCOS and building your family. So the most important first piece of information is regarding the diagnosis, and it surprises me continually how much confusion there still remains. Unfortunately, the name itself is somewhat of a misnomer. There is no actual necessity to having a cyst on the ovary to actually have PCOS. In fact, the actual diagnostic criteria most commonly used nowadays is what we call the Rotterdam criteria. These were defined back in the early 2000s and essentially require you to have at least two out of three possible manifestations to be diagnosed with PCOS. These include having irregular cycles without ovulation, having ultrasound appearance of ovaries that are either large in terms of their volume or demonstrate many follicles, which are the little sacs inside of which the eggs grow. The third criteria is either clinical symptoms, such as excess facial or body hair growth, known as hirsutism, or blood work that indicates a higher than average level of the androgen hormones, such as testosterone. Though these hormones are often associated with men, we all have them. So if you have two, at least two out of these three criteria, you would be diagnosed with PCOS. For some of our younger women, we might define uh, an at-risk for PCOS diagnosis, where they may be too young, particularly in the adolescent years, to firmly make the diagnosis, but we can identify that they appear to have the risk factors for PCOS, and some of what I will discuss in terms of treatment is highly applicable. So, once the diagnosis is made, what do we do next? I always say that the best way to approach PCOS is highly individualized, patient-centered care. I always reference that there is a validated quality of life for women with PCOS tool known as the PCOSQ, and that talks about five main domains um, that may be affected for women that have PCOS. These include having irregular and unpredictable menstrual cycles, having issues with hirsutism or excess hair growth, having issues relating to weight management and prediabetes, having mental health issues, as we know that there is a three to, fold, three to five fold increased risk of anxiety and depressive symptoms and disorders among women that have PCOS, and finally, infertility. So I go through each of these five domains with my patients to ensure that I'm addressing whatever their concerns are. Obviously, when it comes to fertility here at CCRM, we really excel. We have access to multidisciplinary teams in each of our locations to help patients not only achieve pregnancy at the soonest healthy interval, but also to achieve a pregnancy that is most likely to result in an uncomplicated full-term vaginal delivery. This means that we assess your health risk, look at other possible issues. PCOS can raise the risk for what we call insulin resistance, which is basically where our body becomes resistant to the hormone insulin which deals with the sugar that we get in our diet. Unsurprisingly, making changes to our diet is first and foremost one of the mainstays of PCOS treatment. Your physician will talk to you about that in great detail. Obviously, along with dietary changes, we will discuss exercise options that are safe as you try to get pregnant and early in pregnancy. And we will discuss medications and supplements that may be applicable to your situation. Again, the goal is a healthy baby and a healthy mom, and we can help you get there. If you ultimately require fertility treatment, then we will talk about the appropriate choice for you. The good news is that the first line option is simple ovulation induction medications. In this case, a medication called letrozole, which is an oral medication you take for just a few days to help spark an egg to grow. This can be combined with timed intercourse or an intrauterine insemination. If for any reason you need in vitro fertilization, we have the best protocols to ensure that you can go through IVF the safest manner, avoiding risks of complications such as ovarian hyperstimulation and others. At CCRM, we can be a very fast path to a healthy pregnancy and a healthy baby, whether you have PCOS or any other diagnosis. But for the women that do have PCOS, it is my honor and truly a privilege to be able to help guide you down a path that is individualized to you to ensure that you have the best optimal health as you prepare for pregnancy, during pregnancy, and beyond.